need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. By default, the photos you add to the organizer will open in thumbnail views. You can easily adjust the size of the thumbnails by using the zoom slider that appears within the taskbar in the lower right portion of the screen. You can also switch to single photo view by double clicking on a photo. To switch back to the thumbnail view, click the grid button that appears in the upper left corner of the organizer window. You can also view your photos in a full screen view which runs much like a slideshow on your computer. To do this, first select the images that you want to run in a slideshow, then click the slide show button in the taskbar. Once the slideshow launches, a toolbar will appear at the bottom of the screen. You can open the full screen view dialog box by clicking the settings button in the toolbar, which looks like a cog wheel. Within this dialog box, you can add background music to your slideshow using your own sound file or by using one of the pre-installed files from the drop-down list. Elements accepts sound files in MP3, WAV, and WMA formats. Choose none from the drop-down menu if you don't want any background music. You can use the page duration drop-down to specify the number of seconds between each slide ranging from 1 to 3600 seconds. Checking the include captions checkbox will display any captions you've added to your photos. Checking the allow photos to resize checkbox displays your photos at full screen size. You can also add video files to your slideshow. Checking the allow videos to resize checkbox will automatically resize any video clips you have selected to fit in the full screen size. Checking the show film script checkbox displays a film strip along the right side of the full screen window during your slideshow. You can then click on the thumbnails in the film strip to jump to that selected slide at any time. Selecting the repeat slideshow checkbox will cause your slideshow to be played in a continuous loop. To exit full screen mode, simply press the escape button. You can also add music, special effects, specialized transitions, and captions to your slideshows. You may also save them as a PDF, WMV, or burn them onto a CD or DVD, or just save them to your hard drive to open and work with again in another sitting. Also, while in full screen mode, you can use the toolbar at the bottom to toggle the film strip, give you access to the Quick Edit panel, the Organize panel, open the Settings dialog box again, apply Transitions, or access the Properties panel. When you're finished, click the Exit button. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.